Hello, my name is Abe. Welcome back to Enter the Gungeon as the Hunter. Now, I, do we not have a hunter costume? We should give ourselves a bit of a hunter costume. It's gotta be Wolf with the, uh, <laughs> where is it, where is it, where? It's gotta be Wolf with the Bloodborne hat. Where's the Bloodborne hat? There's a Bloodborne hat, I know it, I saw it. I mean, we could get the good. Was there not a blood? Oh, you know, it was a Bloodborne costume, wasn't it? Yeah, the old blood. All right, so we cannot afford the Bloodborne costume. So let's instead grab the, I don't know, the donut? Well, no, no, no. If, we're, if we're the wolf, then thematically appropriate beast. There you go. It. We've got bigger, wider ears on top of our ears. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump into a run here. I know we have a lot of hegemony credits. We'll have to buy more outfits. So I gotta save my money for those outfits, man. Did I say enter the gungeon look? Welcome back to exit the gungeon, everybody. You all know what game you're here for. Oh god. Almost got knocked back. So, last run, not quite a a lead god, but close. I would definitely like to try and actually make a lead god happen, so let's see if we can't make that happen. Let's see if we can't. Never take a hit ever. That would be lovely. Okay, my shots don't actually go down far enough to hit that enemy as they were falling. So, unfortunately, he had to go. You get him, dog. For a second, it actually looked like the dog was going to eat one of the enemies. I was really hoping he would. That would help me. Dog, thank you for the meat bun. So I, I think that meat bun bonus, it disappears when you go to the next room, maybe? Nope, so it must just be a timed thing. It's Professor Goopton! What the hell? Flame hand looks cool. It looks cool, but it's significantly less effective because of higher amounts of particle effects, which make it look pretty, and also it's affected by gravity, which makes it kind of awful. Oh, nice little jump there. Um, I can't quite climb this. Oh, Jesus. You look like a freaking spaghetti monster. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. I would love it if someone could actually, um, ooh, ooh, what is that? Actually, uh, identify what he's saying. I know that there exists a language translator for this man. I don't know what you're saying, Goopt. Also, I don't know, oh <laughs> lord. Wow, these are extremely cheap. I mean, he normally sells cheap items in Gungeon, so I'm, I'm happy to see it, but... I wonder if there's a way that you can you can translate uh, his language. Because in, in Enter the Gungeon, if you get the... If you get the, um... The sponge, you can actually know what he's saying, but we don't have the sponge. I love this little man! Yeah, it's either his son, or, you know, maybe... He's like a worm, and he like lost a tentacle, and it turned into this guy who, who doesn't seem to have quite all of his his uh, pieces there. <laughs> He's just bouncing his head on the wall. But um, yeah, I mean that's cool. Nice. Um, I don't really know what to do about that because I can't translate. Goopton language, but again, I, I think if you if you go to the wiki, there should be like a translator, or if there's a sponge item that we can unlock in the game, we could just get the sponge and then talk to him, and then the game should auto translate for us. But I don't know if that exists in Exit the Gungeon. In any case, that is my first time getting to his shop, and you know, I'll admit, pretty good shop. Things are extremely cheap there, which is how it was in Enter the Gungeon. Now, we are on, you know, the first floor. We're on the first floor when we haven't even, uh, you know, done the full floor. We're halfway through the floor, so things are probably going to be pretty cheap.
Man, explosives are overpowered in this game. That was a uh, an early dodge roll. It's been a while since I fought this guy. I kind of forgot my my timing for that. That's okay. You gotta wait a little bit longer to do that. Come on, shoot the gun! Oh, that's a gun. Double vision. Oh, thank you, dog. Oh, thank you, dog. Oh, thank you, dog. I heard rumors Goopton speaks Klingon. Now that would be... That would be a story. I keep watching Abe leave the gun, but every time I tune back in, he's right back at the beginning. Shake my head. Yeah, I'm not very good at staying exited. The shopkeeper's open for business, Hunter. Um, nothing we want. Indecision, tisk tisk. No, I was quite decisive, actually, um, Bello. So you, we did lose the meat bun. It must just be on the next level you lose it. I'm sorry to say it, uh, Bello, but you didn't have anything I wanted. <clears throat> you know, have a better shop and, you know, we'll see you next time. Oh lord. Gotta be careful about those grenades. Grenades? No, those are the flying ones. Pinheads, that's what they're called. Freaking pinhead, man! Combo up, 15. I don't think we can get a combo of 20 by the time we hit the, uh, the halfway point of this elevator. I bring that up because if we could, then there's a small chance that we could, uh, you know, get the combo com combo bometer combo limiter from Daisuke but if we find Daisuke for a second I thought it was gonna be Daisuke we would only have a combo of 15 we want to hit that 20 if we can one day we will one day it will happen I'm sure of it how did you get up there that was one hell of a jump man Jumping blob man? Who are you calling a pinhead? <laughs> yeah, I'm calling Pinhead a pinhead. AKA Pinhead the Dream Demon? I haven't actually seen Nightmare on Elm Street is what he's from, I think. I'll be honest, I haven't seen a lot of you know the uh, older horror movies. I've seen Candyman. Uh I have not seen Nightmare on Elm Street. I have seen uh like the er the Halloween movies? No, something else. Which is the one with Jason Voorhees? I I've seen those. I seen a I, I saw a couple of them, but I didn't want to like continue watching them because they all seemed like they were pretty much the same damn thing over and over again. Uh, you know, young people having sex in the woods and then getting killed one at a time. <laughs> Medusa Lear Jam. Okay, Medusa Lear tried to shoot me in the face. I kind of dislike that. Well, there goes my flawless. <laughs> God damn it! It's always this, like, pillar layout, too. And I know I know how to how to make that dodge. You just gotta Well, I didn't hold down to go through the platform. You just gotta stay a little bit further away, you just stay in the corner, and then you can dodge forward. You can dodge forward, jump, and then dodge over. Okay, this time you actually threw the dagger man into me, which was unfortunate, and then I just got hit. Okay, you know what? Blanket. I am out of fucking Christ. We got meat bun at least. It does heal you. Interesting. I got. I gotta. I gotta practice at these arenas because that's the dodge I want to make. Right there. I 
I don't know how I didn't get hit there. I, I gotta figure out a better strategy for Medusa Lear when you don't have a floor. It's pretty tough. Pretty tough. Pinhead is a demon from Hell Razor. Okay. Well, there you go. That, that I'm showing my my ignorant knowledge of of horrible weird humans and demons. I don't know what is he a demon? A human demon? In any case, <laughs> that was not a good fight against Medusa Lear. It's um, it's amusing just how uh, you know easier that fight is if you have that that lower middle platform to stand on. Not having the lower middle platform makes that uh, significantly much more difficult fight. And I got shot by one of these guys. So let's start stepping on their heads a little bit more. And stop taking so much damage, because if we find Mr. Daisuke, I would be very sad. Thank God for the bananas, though. <laughs> so what are we missing? I mean, there's there's really a, a three-part... Not even puzzle, but a three-part victory in any Gungeon run, in auto victory. And what is it? It's bouncing bullets, homing shots, and uh, scatter shot. If you can get all three of those, dude, you just hold down the button, everything's gonna freaking die. What does Broken Fuse do? The TV? Um, whenever you pick up a consumable, it actually blanks for you. So if we, oh my god. So if we could find a, uh, you know, a drop, like a double vision drop, or a meat bun, or anything like that, if we grab it, it does a mini blank effect. But I don't know if it, if it does it when the dog grabs it, it might only do it if we grab it. Because it, it didn't look like it actually gave us a blank there, because we had bracket key, but I, I don't know, maybe. Don't shoot me, dick. Sir dicks a lot. Okay. Thank you. I gotta try something. Okay, you know what, you can, you can actually Old Python. You can actually dodge roll and then drop through the floor. I didn't think that would be the case, but you absolutely can at the same time. I jumped into the Bolt Python. I really didn't have any other, you know, kind of way out. I was hoping I'd just be able to uh, jump again before I took damage. But unfortunately, I did take damage from Bolt Python just by touching it. There's not a lot of a lot of room here to maneuver, though. Gotta like do that. All right. Well, at least we killed him. Took a hit. Got plus one to bullets. That's a great pickup. Can't complain too much about that. Also, hello, Mud. How are you doing? Welcome, it's good to see you, as always. Ooh, bloody eye! I'll buy it. It's not a damage upgrade, but it's still fun. I, th I think, I hope. The story is a Hellraiser. A human went to hell to experience so much pleasure that you could only get off on pain and became a demon. A demon of pain or something. Okay, that's a, that's an interesting story. I don't know, I don't know why you would experience pleasure in hell. I guess hell just needed a, a weird pain demon. I should watch some of those um, movies to kind of understand these references. Like hell, watch Hellraiser, watch Nightmare on Elm Street, and all that good stuff. 
make a horror night of it. Does anyone else like horror movies? We should do that as like a, a substream. Horror, horror movies with Abe. <laughs> I'd watch. Hey, Twig Breaker. Hey, welcome. How's it going? I'm definitely convinced Abe hates me now. Why? Because your uh, gift subs weren't uh, weren't showing up on on stream. <laughs> It's an- I don't know why they don't show up, I'm sorry! EBD says, I like horror movies. I also like them. They don't, they don't, you know, make me sick or anything like that. I, I, I enjoy them. I just don't watch them that often. I just don't have too much of an opportunity to. A little while ago, I did watch The Thing. It's a great movie. Lol, no, because I've been here since you started streaming, you just noticed. I, um... You know, a lot of the time I don't look at, and I've said this before, but a lot of times I don't look at the actual who sent the message, I just look at the message itself, because I only have a limited amount of time in between jumps. As I'm trying to, you know, find the path to jump over all the enemies. And I'm trying to maintain my 20 point combo. What the hell? Well, we gotta go. Goodbye. Molotov. It's a Molotov that did literally nothing. It didn't light any of the enemies on fire. I gotta go. Dude, just keep your distance from those guys. Oh, thank god. At least please let the elevator break. I don't know if you can fight a boss while climbing. That would be freaking hilarious. Killender. on the platform instead of dropping down. That's my bad. I'm, I'm not correctly holding um, the down key when I'm when I'm re reaching that platform. As a result, I am not actually, um, oh god, dropping down. It's a hard habit to get into though, holding down to, to drop down. I mean, it, it seems obvious, it seems standard, but my brain just has not kind of, it's not become second nature yet. Shopkeep is open for business, Hunter. Blah, blah, blah. How do I buy you a new stool? My friend. Indecision, tisk tisk. And this also got this weird machine! I really want to know what that weird machine is. Do I plan on playing the new Ori? I never played the old one, so... I got no plans to play the new one. Doom Eternal I have been playing, so... Oh god, it's Balloon Gun. Mud, I I'm glad you're here. I need, I need to tell you something. I know you wanted me to unlock the Balloon Gun. I hate this gun, and I blame you entirely for all of the damage I take when I'm using Balloon Gun, because it is awful. <laughs> like, it's a cool gun. It does a lot of damage, but the fact that I can't jump means I, I lose my, my ability to jump. I lose my iframes, and I take a lot of dumb damage. I blame you entirely, Mud. Now, was I going to, to buy the gun anyways for completion? Absolutely. But you were the only one who was like, man, I can't wait for the, for the balloon gun, you gotta get it. Ergo, I blame you. Good, I love it, all right. As long as you're happy with what you've done. Oh! Combo of 13. We're not gonna hit 20. We got the cape. We keep getting this cape, man. Every time you get hit, I will savor the moment. Oh, Lord. We'll savor the damage taken.
Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Jesus. I should have been hit there, let's be honest. Dude, I love how fast you can fire this gun when you're under the effect of magic sweep. That's pretty dope. So I was gonna say, that shot hit you in the face after the bounce. You should be dead. How about take a shot every time I get hit? Well, now I just need to throw myself off the edge when I defeat the dragon. Everyone's gonna freaking die. All right, buy some items. 29 credits. Pew! Pew! I haven't finished Doom Eternal, though. I, I, I do need to do that at some point. Pew, 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 pew! Is this game going to be developed like Gungeon, or did it just have a one-time update? Well, I'm not a developer, so I can't say. However, I would I would believe that Exit the Gungeon, it's not going to get a whole lot of major content updates. If I had to guess, I would say that it might get some updates of adding in, um, you know, anything that they wanted to add in, and then that's probably going to be it. It's not going to get, like, major, major DLCs that add in multiples of content that already exist in the game. You know, like Supply Drop, Advanced Gungeons and Dragons, Farewell to Arms. I, d I doubt this game is going to get all that stuff. If I had to guess, I would say that the uh, developers are ready to move on to their next project. I actually didn't do my dodge roll and I lost track of myself on the ground. I also keep missing my damn shot, though. Just land your shot, Hunter! You're a hunter! Oh god, what happened? My shots can't even go far enough to hit the dragon here. Whoa! Yeah, bounce off the dragon's head. <laughs> what item is that, dog? Dog's going for it. Gunslinger's Ashes, Blessing of Caliber. What does the Blessing of Caliber do other than change your gun? Does it do anything else? Hopefully these guys can still hit when the dragon's off screen. There we go. We got the kill, at least. No, let God. I mean, we only have 5 HP. At least we got some hegemony credits, though. I can I can live with that. Have I gotten the Unmaker in Doom Eternal yet? I think so. I think so. I will have to, you know, go back to that at some point. But hey, good run. At least we won. Um, hello, dog, friend, strap in, let's go. Um, nothing like meta achievement completed here. We still don't have a bar stool for Bello. We still do not have access to a couple of the NPCs. But at least we're getting enough money that we can start unlocking some of these hats and skins. Gungeon Battle Royale. Every run of Gungeon's a Battle Royale. Especially in Exit the Dungeon. It gets chaotic down here! That's a new, a new soundtrack in the background, is it? It's like Amaconda Rat Skin Boots. I don't remember that being a line. No, because now it sounds exactly the same. Have, have I just never heard that bit of the soundtrack before? It's possible. <laughs> Amoconda and rat skin boots. Whatever, I'll take it. Let's go back to the breach. Shoot. 
Let's, uh, let's see what we got going on here. Last human, wingman, void core. Why don't, why don't we say who are we gonna play next time? Let's decide that now and then pick a costume. Why not play as the bullet and use the adventurer costume? We don't have enough money for a hat, but you know what? That's okay. Dot, dot, dot. One day, something's gonna happen with you, my friend. Don't you have a gungeon to exit? Don't you have a gungeon to exit? They've got a secret message. They keep giving me a donut hat. I don't know what to, what's up with that. I'll figure it out later. In any case, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch. If you want to go live, support me on Twitch, Patreon, and Streamlabs. And I hope to see you here again for the next Red Adventure of the Gungeon.